Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, the Queen of Soul homegoing was magnificent. Now, mourners began filling the church early today while Franklin's fans and dozens of pink Cadillac owners lined up outside. A tribute to the singer's 1985 hit, Freeway of Love, in which she sang, We going riding on the freeway of love in my pink Cadillac. Now, Franklin's open cast was placed at the front of the church as mourners streamed by in advance of the service. Now, as they passed, they saw the singer's body dressed all in gold with a long sequence gown and high heels to match her gleaming gold casket. Now, projected on the walls were the words, a celebration fit for a queen. Now, as would be expected for a service honoring the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and who won 18 Grammys, among many other honors, music was a central part of the service. Now, country singer uh, a Faith Hill was the first of many celebrities to perform, belting out a rendition of What a Friend We Have in Jesus alongside a rousing gospel choir. Now, Ariana Grande also paid tribute, prompting some funeral attendees to begin dancing as she sang Franklin's 1967 classic, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Now, the choir brought the crowd to its feet numerous times, and Bishop T.D. Jakes reminded those gathered of Franklin's show-stopping Grammy Awards performance of Aria Nusan Dharma, which translate as none shall sleep. And he said, even though it appears she's laying in a box, the song is true. None shall sleep. She is not here. She is risen. Mm. Now, the choir greeted attendees who took their seats in the pews as the processional began. And before long, many were on their feet singing and clapping along. The casket was closed at the end of the lengthy processional after the singer's family and friends had said goodbyes. And as the choir sang, Jesus, the light of the world. Walk in the light, the singers proclaimed as the casket lid was lowered. The beautiful light, come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Hmm. Now, uh, Mayor Dugan, the Detroit mayor, took to the pulpit and said he wanted to rename the city's Shane Park after Franklin and that he was sending a proposal to the city council to do so. Now, he said our beautiful waterfront jewel will be Aretha Franklin's Park, he said. And when performers from generations to come from around the world come here, they will be reminded they are performing at the home of the Queen of Soul. Now, in the church lobby were floor arrangements from some of Franklin's best known friends, including uh, Tony Bennett, Barbara Streisand, and Diana Ross. Isaiah Thomas, the former Detroit Piston player and a friend of Franklin's, told CNN he could hardly believe it was time to say goodbye. Now, even though you knew over uh, the last couple of months that she was sick and you knew this day was coming and you thought you would be prepared for it, but now that is here, it really is overwhelming, he said. Now, Shirley Caesar, Caesar, the famous gospel singer, and another friend of Franklin's agreed. I've been wishing and hoping that I will wake up and that this is just a dream, she said. Now, organizers told CNN the service was to touch on Franklin's significance to her friends, family, and fans. Beside the musical performances, the spoken tribute and remembrance from major religions and political leaders indicate the influence of a woman who stood on the front line of the civil rights movement with her music as a frequent anthem. 
Now, Franklin's niece, Sabrina Owens, who read the obituary, told CNN the funeral service would pay homage to Franklin's gospel roots and her love of the church. We knew we wanted to have a certain gospel artist like the Williams brother and Pastor Shirley Caesar, Owens said, and there were other people who called us wanting to participate. Now, her family wanted to keep the funeral service private to those closest to Franklin, though it was being streamed and portions broadcast by major networks, but worked to provide the singer's fans an opportunity to say goodbye this week. Now, viewings earlier this week, as you know, were held at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History and a Franklin's Childhood Parish, New Bethel Baptist Church. 